welcome to Ecclesia. We are delighted that you have chosen to join us this morning. It's wet outside, it's early inside, and we're glad you're here. We want to um, begin our service as we do every week by remembering our sister congregation in La Vaita, Cuba. Um, right this minute, they are gathering in their church and they are saying to their congregation, we speak into our presence, our brothers and sisters in Ecclesia Baptist in Asheville, North Carolina. And as they say that, and as we speak them into our congregation, just like that, by the conduit of the Holy Spirit, we are one. Thanks be to God. There are others who plan to be here today who could not make it. Cliff has reached out and said that he is not able to be here today because he, is, he woke up this morning sick. And after he talked with Cindy yesterday and me saying how he was looking forward to today, but he couldn't make it after all. Um, others who are not with us, uh, well, let me say this. We often speak Lupe into our presence and it worked today. Lupe is here and we are grateful. Craig is not gonna be coming in because Craig done lost his mind. Craig uh, uh, is doing a 5K today and not trained for it, <laughs> but uh, he keeps saying he's gonna run in a 5K. Pretty sure he's gonna walk the 5K. But I did hear from him, he made it in under an hour. Hot dog! His goal was to get under an hour, he did it in 58 minutes. All right, so all right. One quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so, good job, Craig. Good job, Craig. Um, are there others that you want to speak into our presence? Caitlin and Caitlin have, um, Caitlin's parents, brunette Caitlin's parents are in town and uh, they are doing Asheville touristy things all over town. And so they had told me earlier that they would not be able to make it today. Can we tell them to go break? So I want to say what um, Waldemar has said. Thank you for um, your presence, uh, for being here, and thank you for the hospitality. Um, Waldemar, we're going to introduce a little later to the rest of you, but he is here from Cuba and has a lot of roles in Cuba. He is a pastor. He is a part of the executive function of the feedback, which is our, our sister organization there, uh, um, fraternity of Baptist churches there. And he's also a part of the seminary um, staff. So he's just bored and needed something to do. So he thought he'd come to the U.S. and hang out for a little bit. Um, Waldemar calls into our presence the feedback uh, churches from Cuba and their leadership and also his home church where he is a pastor and Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco Baptist Church in Oliva. Baptist Church in Oliva. See? Like bueno. Olive. Like Olive. Good. We have also other guests today. We're very happy to have um, Eli with us for the very first time, as I recall. Um, and so we're glad to have Eli with us today. Welcome, Eli. And we have people who haven't been here in a long time. Um, we'll start with James and John because we haven't seen them in a while. But then we haven't seen uh, Bobby ever. Bobby's a first time visitor. Oh, I need to introduce Bobby. Has Bobby been here? Okay, Bobby has been here. Okay, so this is maybe his second time. Good. All right, so Bobby is here. Osiris is here. You saw them in the video. And also, um, Abuela, their grandmother, Mari Cruz, Litzy's mother, we're so happy to have you here. You're always part of our family, and we're glad to have you with us today. So, uh, joined with all the saints from here and yonder, 
we begin our worship together with our first hymn. Please stand for our opening hymn. All right. Welcome, everyone. I uh, thought this would be a great song for us to do together. Because um, we're always in one with Cuba. And we're out there always in one with us. So we're going to start with We Are One in the Spirit, which is uh, page 69 in your book. So we Are One in the Spirit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What time is it? We've just sung our opening. Oh, I see. It's time. It's time. For, for, for the kids' story. Yes, it is indeed. I know you're very excited, and this one okay. is one of the ones that you really like. Oh, I do. And we are reading this one because Miss Kim is here, and she likes this book a lot. So, boys and girls, get to where you can see the pictures so we can show you. 
and read to you about the rooster who would not be quiet. This is by Carmen Agraditi. Carmen Agraditi wrote the book that we read about the cockroach, um, Martina, the Martina the Lovely Cockroach. Um, she wrote both of these books. The illustrator for this one is Eugene Yelchin. Once there was a village where the streets rang with song from morning until night. Dogs bayed, mothers crooned, engines hummed, fountains warbled, and everybody, everybody sang in the shower. Everyone and everything had a song to sing. This made the village of La Paz a very noisy place. It was hard to hear. It was hard to sleep. It was hard to think. And no one knew what to do. So they fired the mayor. Now, they were a very noisy village without a mayor, so they held an election. Only Don Pepe promised peace and quiet. He won by a landslide. The next day, a very polite law appeared in the village square. No loud singing in public. Por favor. Things were getting better already. But more laws soon followed. No loud singing at home. No loud singing. No singing. Basta! Quiet already. Until finally, the noisy village of La Paz was as silent as a tomb. Even the tea kettles were afraid to whistle. Some people left the village singing loudly. Others stayed behind and learned to hum. The rest were just grateful to have a good night's sleep for crying out loud. Seven very quiet years passed. Then one evening, a saucy Galito, Gallito and his family wandered into the village and roast, roosted in a fragrant mango tree. When the little rooster awoke the next morning, sorry, I forgot about you over here, Eli. He did what roosters were born to do. He sang, Kiki Karee! As his rotten luck would have it, the mango tree, tree grew beneath the mayor's window. You there, groused Don Pepe, no singing. It's the law. Well, that's a silly law, said the merry gallito. Smell this sweet mango tree. How can I keep from singing? Huh? Then I'll chop down that stinky tree, huffed Don Pepe. Will you sing then? The plucky gallito shrugged. I may sing a less cheerful song, but I will still sing. And he did. Kiki Kari! Still singing, snapped Don Pepe. You have no tree, remember? I have no tree, said the gallito, but I have my hen and chicks. How can I keep from singing? Will you sing if I throw you in a cage alone? Threatened Don Pepe. I may sing a lonelier song, said the stubborn gallito, but I will still sing. And he did. Why are you singing now? Growled Don Pepe. You have no hens and chicks. No hen and chicks, the gallito sighed, but I still have corn to eat. How can I keep from singing? And if you have no more corn, asked the mayor. I may sing a hungrier song, said the headstrong gallito, but I will still sing. And he did. 
Kikikiri! Aren't you hungry, you crazy bird? Well, Don Pepe. Claro, of course, said the gallito. But if the sun can still shine despite this world's troubles, how can I keep from singing? And if you never see the sun again, snarled the mayor, and he ran for a blanket to cover the rooster's cage. I may sing a darker song, the brave gallito called after him, but I will sing. And he did. As the gallito song echoed down the soundless streets of La Paz, it occurred, it stirred an old familiar longing for a time when everyone and everything had a song to sing. Not so with Don Pepe. Singing gave him indigestion. The next day, Don Pepe stumbled out to the yard in his nightshirt. He tore away the blanket and pleaded, you have no tree to roost in. No hen and chicks to comfort you. No grain to fill your belly. No sun to drive away the shadows. Why, oh why, are you still singing? Promise to stop and I will set you free. One by one, a quiet crowd began to gather in Don Pepe's yard. I sing for those who dare not sing or have forgotten how, said the gallito. If I must sing for them as well, senor, how can I keep from singing? And if I have made you into soup, the mayor thundered, I suppose you will still sing if you're dead? The entire village held its breath, waiting for the gallito's reply. Dead roosters sing no songs, he said. Ha, crowed Don Pepe, sure he had won. But a song is louder than one noisy little rooster and stronger than one bully of a mayor, mayor said the gallito, and it will never die so long as there is someone to sing it. And there was. Once again, there was a village where the streets rang with song from morning till night. This made for a very noisy place to live. And that's just the way everyone liked it. The end. I chose this book today because Miss Kim loves it, but also because of our guest pastor who will be here today preaching for us. He comes from Cuba, and there have been so many attempts to squash the faith of the Cuban people, and yet they sing on and give us a picture of what true faith really means, and we are grateful. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for helping us to sing even when our throats hurt and our voices crack. We love you, Jesus. Amen. And now it's time for our scripture reading. Jay, I have you down for that, but I can read it. You got it? It's Galatians 3. 23 through 29. So if you have your Bibles, turn to Galatians 3, 23 through 29. Galatians 3, 23 through 29. Galatians 3, 23. Through 29, before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. 
For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. This is the word of the Lord. I want to introduce to you a Waldemar Merguido. Merguido, please. Try, try to get the Cuban accent. I dare you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's tough. Uh, we welcome you, my brother, and we look forward to your message in just a few minutes. Um, I think we introduced uh, Waldemar. Waldemar is a newlywed. Yes. Uh, no, 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 Right. Cuando fue la boda? En noviembre. Noviembre. De, noviembre. noviembre de, okay, not even. The, uh, two years this November. Gotcha. So, um, and he is here, his wife, Ariani. Sí. Ariani is back home, and so um, we're very glad that you're here with us. And so we will pray together. I will be using a prayer that we had in our prayer meeting on Friday night. And I will be reading the English, and Waldemar will read the Spanish. Let us pray. I have no simple words to express my gratitude to you, Lord. No tengo palabras sencillas para expresarte mi gratitud, Señor. Because every moment of the day, you surprise me with an impressive gift. Porque en cada momento del día, me sorprendes con un regalo impresionante. My whole being thanks you from the depths. Todo mi ser te agradece desde lo más profundo. And only words of thanks to you flow from my lips. Y solo brotan de mis labios palabras de gracia hacia ti. Therefore, I ask that I may continue to be your instrument to be and serve as a blessing to multitudes. Por lo que pido que pueda continuar siendo instrumento tuyo para hacer y servir de bendición a multitudes. I also pray for those who ask that you listen to them and attend to their request. También pido por los que piden que los escuche y atienda sus peticiones. But let not our will be done but yours, since you are the one who knows our hearts and our deepest desires. Para que no se haga nuestra voluntad, sino la tuya. Through Christ Jesus, I pray. Ya que eres quien conoce nuestro corazón, y nuestros más profundos deseos. Por Cristo Jesús, te lo pido. Amén. 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 And now, oh God, we lift up our concerns and thoughts to you, asking that you would hear the names of these who are in need of your love and care, and ask, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Que el Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, Santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hace tu voluntad tanto en el cielo como en la tierra. Da nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras deudas como también nosotros perdonamos nuestros deudores. No nos dejes caer en tentación, mas líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino por todos los siglos. Amén. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. And there's our, our secretary messed up the bulletin again this week. She is just the worst. Um, and she forgot to put the second hymn on, which is now. Right? right. I'll, I'll fire her and hire a new one before Sunday. Okay. Uno mas canto. Canto. Yeah, see. So, um, yeah, see. ¿Cuál es esta? Oh, do people have this one? Yes. For the so yes. this one we're doing. Uh, oh, do you want to explain? Okay. okay yeah. Uh, so last week uh, we introduced this uh, song, "God, You're So Good," and at the bottom you'll see the chorus has been translated. So what we're going to do today is we're going to sing this song. Every time we do the chorus, sing the chorus first in English, and at the bottom we're going to sing the chorus the second time um, in Spanish. So. So we get us ready for our uh, great sermon from our guest pastor here.
Okay. And now we welcome, you may be seated, and now we welcome uh, Waldemar to our uh, church officially yes. and um, look forward to your message from the Lord. Thank you so much Gracias. for your presence. Gracias. Amen. <laughs> Y quiero empezar uh, agradeciendo la invitación de estar junto con ustedes aquí este domingo. I want to start by giving a word of gratitude for being here with you today on this Sunday. Que para mí es una, un honor poder it, estar compartir con ustedes. It's an honor to be able to share with you. Y allá en la iglesia donde soy pastor, es igual muchos niños sentados arriba de... De los, de sus padres, de los abuelos, así que. We have, in our church, we have a lot of young kids that are sitting with their grandparents and their aunts and uncles and whoever else in the family, so that's, I'm used to that uh, in our church, that's how it is. Y son parte de, de toda la vida nuestra, o sea, no se separa de. And they're, they're just as part of, they're as much a part of the church as anyone else. Amen. Felicidades. So, congratulations <laughs> in that. Eh, para comenzar, yo no trabajo con tecnología, trabajo con cosas comunes, un papel, un, un bolígrafo y la Biblia escrita en impresa, no, no trabajo con nada <laughs> digital. I don't work with a lot of technology and digital stuff. I work with the Bible that's printed on a piece of paper and I work with another piece of paper and a pen, you know, so I'm kind of... Así que solamente aprendí uh, de pastores, eh, vamos a decir, no viejos, vamos a decir <laughs> muy para atrás. I, I learned from, you know, not old pastors, but pastors who are a little older than me. Y tenía un pastor que siempre me dijo, eh, cuando vaya a escribir algo, escríbelo en un papel, que las ideas se, se reflejan con más fuerza. Eso es nuestra experiencia, no quiere decir que sea la única. So I had, a, I had a, a pastor who told me, when you write a sermon, write it on a paper, because the paper can reflect your ideas a little bit better. And I know it's not the only way, but it's just the way that works for me. Entonces... Damos gracias a Dios por eso y vamos a orar. Orate. So I give thanks to God for that and we're going to have a moment of prayer. Oremos. Señor y Dios, te damos gracias por es tu palabra. Ahora te pedimos que la bendiga y que se haga tu voluntad en esta mañana. En el nombre de tu Jesucristo. Amén. Amén. Hace un tiempo he experimentado que Dios hace del milagro una opción donde podemos experimentar una esperanza basada en el testimonio de nuestras vidas. So, a, a, a little while ago, I experienced how God makes miracles out of an option where, God brings a miracle out of options where we can experience a, a, a hope based in, basado en el... Testimonio. Oh, and the testimony of our lives. Siendo capaces de convertir el barro en edificio y que hoy vivimos y observamos, pero también que tocamos. Ah, so we, we can see how we can be capable of being converted from clay into a building and how that, that living it we can see We can not only see it, but we can also touch it. El camino de la fe se muestra en el testimonio donde seamos mejores cada día. The way of faith is when we can, when our testimony can make us be better each day. Esta es una manera de ser hermanos a pesar de la distancia de nuestros países. And this is a way that we can be sisters and brothers in spite of the distance between our two countries. El texto muestra que nuestra fe nos fortalece cada día. Uh, the text shows that our faith strengthens us each day. Por encontrar cada día una esperanza, un camino. So, and so we can find on this way, we can find hope. Un camino hacia 
la libertad. A, a hope that goes toward freedom. Solo podemos ser libres de la ley. Uh, we... Solo podemos ser libres de la ley cuando nos empeñamos a encontrar el motivo por el cual podemos seguir avanzando a pesar de las dificultades. Mm -hmm. So we can be, we can find this freedom that's based in what we hope for, and we can find, motivo. we can find the motive to, to be, Seguir avanzando. oh, we can find the motive to keep going in spite of the difficulties. No renunciar, no cansarnos, sino abrazar al resucitado. Donde, gra donde dando gracias por las nuevas oportunidades que Dios nos ofrece. We don't deny our faith, we don't get tired, we just keep advan we keep embracing the, re the resurrected one, we're thanks to God for new opportunities that come to us. Solo por fe nos podemos empeñarnos a saber que se puede estar presente para el que sufre. And we also have hope that we are able to be present for others who suffer. Es por eso que solo Dios hace realidad nuestros sueños. And so it's only God who makes real our dreams. En el versículo 26, donde dice que somos hijos de Dios, de Dios, por fe, y no por tratado, ni por ley, ni por imposiciones, sino que somos hijos de Dios a través de nuestra fe. So uh, verse 26 says, we are children of God by faith, not by anything we do or anything that's imposed. It's nothing else than we are by, we are children of God by faith. Sino que nuestra fe es la que hace posible que hoy estemos sentados aquí. And it's our faith that allows us to be seated right here today. Así que podemos avanzar juntos y sobre todo no cansarnos al camino. And so we can keep going in our faith, we keep advancing in our faith without becoming weary. Si no al contrario, seguir la alternativa de que podemos estar al lado de los que padecen. And so we can also continue in our faith beside those who suffer. Este es un texto que siempre lo clasifico como aquel escrito que revela el amor de Dios por encima de cualquier diferencia. And so it also, the text tells us that the love of God, the hope of God, our faith, it, super, it, is, uh, it supersedes all other differences that we may have between us. Avanzamos sabiendo que podemos cambiar el corazón de las personas. And we can keep moving ahead because we see that our hearts, the hearts of us, our own hearts and the hearts of others can be changed. La vida de las personas, ofreciendo un camino de esperanza basado en nuestra fe. And the lives of other people can be changed as we offer our hope based in our faith. Y en el versículo 28, donde el texto habla de que ya no hay ni esclavo, ni libre, ni hombre, ni mujer. Y sobre todo somos hijos de Dios a través de Jesucristo, nos muestra de que podamos ser siempre sin tener distinción de uno de otro. So verse 28 talks about how there's no difference between slave or free or male or female and as we keep on this path we, we know that we are all children of God and we keep on this path of unity together. Solo encontrarnos con Dios hace el milagro de que todos somos hijos y como hijos también somos hermanos. And so is, this is a miracle of God, a miracle of faith that as we are children of God, God also makes amongst us that we are sisters and brothers. Entonces damos gracias a Dios por, por su compromiso con nosotros en Cuba. And so we give you thanks for your dedication, your commitment to those of us in Cuba. Encontrarnos a Sila en la puerta aquí es una muestra de ese amor profundo por el cual Dios nos une. I saw, I came in and I saw Sila on your board and that just touched me with the depth of love that you have 
for her and for your family there. Y para ir cerrando y terminando, tuvimos en la primera semana del mes de abril varias reuniones importantes. And so I want to close with the, in the first week of April, we had lots of different meetings that were important. In Washington, D.C. And we were in Washington, D.C. Y entonces, eh, tuvimos el desafío de hablar con oficial, ¿se puede llamar así? Uh -huh. we had, of, oh. Oficial del Departamento de Estado. We had the challenge of speaking with people from our, the U.S. State Department. Y la idea que trajimos fue que nuestros países no pueden seguir viviendo de la manera en que se está viviendo. And the idea, the central idea was that our two countries cannot continue to relate the way we have been relating for the past many, many years. Hablamos de reconciliación y restauración. We spoke of reconciliation and restoration. Y que la vida de nuestras iglesias, hermanas, unas a otras, es una muestra de eso. And our sister church relationships are proof of that, or showing a way to do that. Nosotros, ustedes son ejemplo, y Cuba también, nuestra iglesia en Cuba también son ejemplo de esos puentes que se hacen en ambos lados. And so your church here and the churches in Cuba are examples of this kind of bridge that we're building between our two countries. Y es por eso que el versículo 28 donde dice, ya no hay judío ni griego, ni esclavo ni libre, nos muestra que hoy podemos cambiar. And so this text in verse 28, that you're neither Jew nor Greek nor slave nor free, it shows us that we can live that way. Entonces la, la, la invitación es que podamos continuar trabajando juntos, pero gracias por la fe. So we give thanks that our invitation is we can continue to work together through faith. Esa fe que mueve montaña. This faith that moves mountains. Esa fe que derrumba muro. And it tears down walls. Y sobre todo, cambia los corazones de las personas. And above all, it changes the hearts of people. El Señor les bendiga en la mañana de hoy. The Lord bless you in the morning of today. Gracias. Thank you. You've heard the word of God uh, sung and prayed and read, and you have heard God's words through the message that Pastor Waldemar has brought to us today, and we're grateful. Your choice is how to respond to that, to what you've heard. And you might respond by um, participating in our church in some way later, you say, but right now you can make that decision to do so. You may have other decisions that you need to make today in response to what you've seen and heard. And if that's the case, we are grateful and we welcome you. I will be over to the side for anyone who needs to talk to me about that. And so now I invite you to stand as we sing our final hymn. Right. So today for our final hymn, we've got, I, I've decided to follow Jesus and I'll let you give the instructions on this one. We are, we're singing the first verse in, in English. I have decided to follow Jesus and then we'll sing the chorus and then we'll sing it in Spanish. What um, we've got here on the little poster <coughs> Then we'll sing verses two and three in English. Then we come back to, I have decided to follow Jesus uh, and we'll finish up in in Spanish. It's um it just repeats those lines that he's holding up just means you repeat that line. He decidido seguir a Cristo three times and then the last line is no vuelvo atrás. Can you hold it up it's a little bit higher? No vuelvo atrás. Perfect. Okay.
Thank you again, Pastor Waldemar and uh, Pastora Kim. Um, we are grateful for your presence here today. And we want you to remember everything that you've experienced today. But if you forget anything, don't forget this. You are loved. And there is nothing you can do about it. Thanks for worshiping with Ecclesia. We'll see you next week.